Brian Williams to jump center against Dewan Squires. Tennessee against Indianapolis in the opening tap, controlled by Brian Williams, and it goes to Melvin Goins in backcourt. He'll bring it to front. Good matchup out front as Moss is going to be on Goins very quick. Pass down low, Tobias Harris left block. Back out to Hobson on the wing. He'll drive in the lane. A little runner on the way, no good. A blocking foul is going to be called as getting after Goins. Scotty Hobson not wearing a headband for the first time that I can remember at the line. Shoots and misses the first free throw. <laughs> I don't know. It's a block, though. It looks good. Hobson at the line. Second shot on the way, and that's no good. So he misses two free throws. That was a problem last yep. year with Scotty. He only hit 55% of his shots. Got to make him pay. In front court, here comes Adams. Adams is a good shooter. Now to Moss out front. They swing at top of the key to Blanks. Now to Vest, he'll pull up, fire a three-pointer. That's no good. Rebound backside, knocked out of bounds. As Tobias Harris battling underneath the Squires. They say it hit Squires last. And so it'll be Tennessee basketball. This Nate Blank, he's a strong player. He's not very tall. We got a foul on Moss. That'll be his first. And, you know, you got a guy like Moss, Bob, and he he thinks he should be playing for a team like Tennessee. He's got that chip on his shoulder. He's going to play hard. Hobson gets it in front court. Top of the key to Bias Harris. Down low. Pass goes to Goins. Puts it off the glass and scores as they post it up Moss underneath. Melvin Goins posting up. Isn't that something? Great pass by Tobias. Well, he's strong enough to play down there. He sure is. Give him a shot. Here comes Blank in front court. They get it to Moss. And now to Adams. Best has it. Right side blanks. He's guarded by Cameron Tatum. Top of the circle pass goes to Adams. Backdoor cut. Layup is going to be good by Squires. Nice pass. Underneath a backdoor against Tobias Harris. This Squires is an active player. Melvin Goins pushes the other way for Tennessee. We're tied at two. Goins gets it, and now he'll set it up to Tatum. Left corner goes to Hobson. Hobson down low. Brian Williams spins, moves, puts it up and in, and he scores against Cody. Man camp over the summer and really developed his footwork. Also got a trainer that really helped him with his quickness, as you can see it. He shoots and hits the free throw, and he's also worked on his free throw shooting. So now Tennessee leads 5-2. And now the full court press. We'll see, Burt, what kind of pressing team this Vol squad is right now. We sure will with this Moss. He's really quick. Inbounds pass goes to Moss. Goins right on top of him. And now Moss will bring it up. And will set up the play. Melvin Goins right with him. Blanks top of the key. Pulls up. Fires a three. That rattles no. Rebound is going to be corralled underneath by Brian Williams as he takes it away from Tobias Harris. Outlet pass goes to Goins across midcourt. Goins galloping, gives it off to Tatum. Tatum with the left hand drives, puts it off the glass, no. And a block is going to be called on Vest. Operation under the basket after Vest went down. He's getting ready to come out of the game. He's picked up two quick fouls, and Cameron Tatum to the stripe. Tatum fires and hits. He's missed a lot of preseason. Waited, but you're right. He, he's, had, he's, had a, he's been banged up a lot. Hits the first free throw and the second. So Tatum hits his first two points of this year, and Tennessee now leads 7-2. Tennessee pressing. They get the ball into Blanks now. He'll bring it up against Tobias Harris. He gets it over to Moss. Interesting. They took it out of Moss's hands to let somebody else bring it up. Yeah, Blanks is a, is a big man, pretty versatile. Adams comes off a pick, fakes. Now he drives, splits the defense, kicks it out. Moss back in low to Adams off the glass. No. Tip no good. Brian Williams janks off the rebound. Gives to Hobson. Hobson down the lane, throws it up, and gets fouled as Blank got him. Good play, that, but that, it's all they've got. Who's 42? He just... Wilbur O'Neal, yeah. He's getting ready to come in. At the line is Hobson again. Missed his first two free throws and hits that one. He He looks like a a much better player, more mature player. Basically, he was on the USA Select team, which was the practice fodder for the USA National team. Now, Hobson hits the second free throw, and Tennessee now leads it 9-2. They break the press, get in the front court. Moss, free throw line, fakes, gives it underneath. Layup, good, nice dish as O'Neal gets the layup. 9-4, Tennessee back the other way. Hobson has the ball taken away. Moss steals it, but he saves it inbounds to Brian Williams. And Brian St- That was Moss. He created that. As soon as Hobson turned his head, he went and trapped him. Moss brings it across the line. Gets it out. Leland Brown is in the game now for Indianapolis. They've got to go deep into their bench with these early foul problems. Squires trying to get rid of the ball. He throws it cross court to Moss. Moss. Left wing, kicks it off, Adams a three, no good. Rebound, Brian Williams. He's got a bunch early. Outlet pass goes to Melvin Goins. Comes across the midcourt stripe, right side Tatum. Makes a move and lost the ball on the dribble. Taken away by Adams. Here's a three on two. Adams bounce pass, Squires layup good. 
This team's well coached. You can tell they, they really know how to play and they like to run. 9-6. Tennessee's lead is three with 16.50 to go in the first half. Brian Williams backdoor look, but it's intercepted by Squires. Just jumped up and snatched it. Now they give it off baseline. Adams jump shot, no good. Knocked out of bounds away from Melvin Goins by way way off of him. And he, he telegraphed that ball, and he threw it right to Squires. Yeah, tried to lob it down low, and Squires just jumped up and snatched it. 9-6, Tennessee leads by three with 16.35 to go first half. Williams gives it right side. Melvin Goins, top of the key, Woolrich. Woolrich gets a pick, can't shoot, gives to Hobson left wing. Drops it down low, Tobias Harris left block. Makes a move in the lane, little half hook is good. Wow, what a move. He just takes his time. He doesn't get in a hurry at all, which is rare for a young player. Usually they're hurrying up, trying to do something. 11-6, Tennessee up by five. Tennessee trying to make sure they got the right folks defensively matching up. Indianapolis with a basketball with 16 minutes to go in the first half. Adams, who's been quiet, Tries to split a double team coming in. Uh, see the statue and uh, pay tribute to the general who is the backbone of Tennessee football. So that'll be a special event on Friday afternoon. And when you come to the game Saturday, stop by and see the statue. Inbounds pass is going to go into the corner and for Indianapolis and Scotty Hobson trying to be over aggressive over there. Bumps into uh, Jared Hamilton and picks up his second foul. Now, Hamilton came in to give Moss a little bit of a rest and <laughs> he looks about like him. How big is that statue? Have you seen it? Yeah, it, well, I don't know exactly the the height, but the the pedestal's already there, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a big statue, but it's going to be just very very elegant looking, and that'll be it, awesome. Yeah, it'll be a great addition to the stadium. Indianapolis can't get the ball in bounds to his wife. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Have to put him all those flux <laughs> capacitors and gigawatts and all that stuff he's got going. 15:57 ago, Indianapolis will throw the ball into backcourt. To get it in, Adrian Moss back into the game for the Greyhounds. He got about a minute break, and he's back in there. Trey Golden into the game for Tennessee, guarding him at point. Pass down low, backing in against John Fields, blocking the shot of O'Neal is John Fields. Golden comes out of there. Stephen Pearl runs the floor, gets the assist, and lays it up and in. That's John Fields' basket right there. That was tremendous defense to create that transition opportunity. They're going to go back down low to O'Neal. This time he turns and fires over Fields in the baseline. No good. Stephen Pearl rebounds. Outlet goes to Trey Golden. Look at Fields run the floor. Golden gives to Pearl. Top of the key back to Golden. Well, I really like him. He's an active big man. Got a lot of length on him, doesn't he? Sure does. Stephen Pearl kicks it over to Ronaldo Woolridge, and he took an extra step in travel. He's playing too fast right now. He made a turnover a minute ago, and then or two of them, and then he walked right here. He's got to calm down. He took about two steps before he dribbled the ball that time, and now the Greyhounds get it back. Brown gets it. They swing it off in the corner. Now get to O'Neal. Back out front to Adams. Looks for a pick. Skyler McBee's on him. Now back down low. Brownie double team. Stephen Pearl comes from the weak side and knocks the ball away and steals. It gives to Golden. Golden to Woolridge. Back to Fields. Goes up and gets fouled. Good defense that time by Stephen Pearl. Ready, and Stephen was smart. He saw he wasn't paying attention really to any help, and he just slipped around and knocked it away. Foul is on Squires. A basketball program to get a guy like that. Well, he's played at now three different schools, East Carolina, North Carolina, Wilmington, and Tennessee. He's played for five different head coaches during that time. I mean, he even sprints back after a free throw. 14 to 6. Tennessee has the lead with 14.40 to go in the first half. Moss in front court gives to Adams. They've done a nice job on him. Cross court pass goes to Squires. They swing around to Brown. Now back out front. Adams, a three on the way. Good. He finally hit one. Well, they did a nice job handling that that time. Tennessee went with the trap, and they just got the ball moving and got a wide open look. Bert, you're right. They are, they're a well-coached basketball team. And they got good floor spacing and a smart team, good passers. A lot of Bruce Pearl in this team, you can tell. You're exactly right. They play defense like it. There's and there's a steal. the steal. Taking away Adams from McBee, and Adams goes down and lays it up and in. You know, our backcourt's going to have trouble with this outfit. Moss is keeping the ball from Trey from even getting the ball. Golden gets to the front court. Golden, cross-court pass goes to Woolridge, top of the key to Pearl. Tennessee basically playing its whole second unit right now. Pearl directing traffic out front. Now to Golden. 13.50 to go. You notice how they're really sloughing off these guys. And in Moss, Moss even. It's almost like a 2-3. It may be a 2-3 matchup. No, it's man-to-man. Golden 
Lobs it down low to Pearl. Double team back to Golden. An open look, right wing. Fires, no good. Rebound controlled by Adams. Now a three on three. Adams, top of the key to the basket, lays it up. No, but he draws a foul. And it will go. Well, they get after you, Southern yeah. Illinois. Yeah, and he playing football right now for the Greyhounds. Well, and Moss, probably their best player, he's new. So yeah. they're going to have a nice squad for their league. Adams hits the second free toss, and just like that, the Greyhounds have pulled within one. It's 14 13. Another player in the game, Corey Zachary, comes in for Indianapolis. Melvin Goins is back in, as is Tobias Harris. Harris goes right down the lane, kicks it off, whistle, charging fast. Making a little jump stop, but, boy, he was quick handling that ball. Melvin threw it over to him, and boom, he's right down the middle of the court. Well, you can tell the Greyhounds, they've already gotten four fouls trying to protect the basket, and that time O'Neal got the charge. So they're not going to let you drive to the basket without some contact. Here's he stepped on the line. Yeah, Moss trying to make a move against Melvin. Hamilton comes in, and Moss takes a seat. 13-17 to go in the half. Tennessee leads 14-13. Goins now will bring it up as he's guarded by Jarrett Hamilton. Five foot nine, but really quick. Tobias Harris, top of the key against Skyler McBee. The Greyhounds are man-to-man. Backdoor pass is deflected and knocked out of bounds, but it's saved by the Greyhounds. Hamilton gets that save and brings it into front court. Great save that time by Brown. Went flying out of bounds. Pass in low. O'Neal puts it up, missed the shot, and rebound Tobias Harris. Had a good look, but he couldn't finish. McBee, left wing, a three on transition. No good. Tip is good by John Field. Man, he ran the court that time. That was a nice transition opportunity. Tobias made a key pay through the long pass to Skyler, and then here comes Fields to gobble up that rebound. 16-13, Tennessee by three. The Greyhounds swing it to Squires. They'll bring it back out front to Zachary. Now to Brown, top of the circle. Left side, Hamilton will get it. He'll bring it back out and square the court. Thumbs down is the play call. They go left side, Squires drops it down low to O'Neal. Fields has him, turns, fires base on short. Fields got a piece of it. Yep. Rebound goes to Tatum. Tennessee with the basketball. Tatum guns a pass to McBean out of Goins. Goins fakes, drives, whistle, and a hold.